All right, here's my uh, vertical axis worn turbine uh, when looking down the center of it. And uh, this is how I got the uh, size for the uh, stator and the rotor. I'm going to use a uh, 10 inch saw blade for the uh, rotors. And then I laid out the coil sizes onto that. And here's my dimensions for my coils. And this is going to be the diameter of my stator. And in a previous video, I showed how I wound um, all nine of the uh, coils. And now I um, tape them together. And I found a, a great uh, diagram here from um, windgenkits.com. And I um, taped them all together, cleaned the ends, and soldered all the connections together in a star configuration. All right, when preparing to uh, solder these, it's very important to get all the enamel off of it, get these uh, very clean. So I uh, scraped off the enamel and I sanded the ends uh, to make sure that my connections were nice and clean. All right, uh, after I got all the uh, ends nice and clean, I twisted the uh, wires together, get a nice tight connection, and then I, uh, I soldered all the connections. All right, here's some information on how I got the uh, size of the coils. The uh, center of the coil is supposed to be the diameter of your magnets. The height of your coils are supposed to be a half the width of the diameter of the magnets. Uh, so that's how I, um, I came up with this size. Also, uh, it had to do with just making it fit onto the, uh, into the space that I had to uh, fit it into. So that was sort of had to take all those criteria and try to put it together to come up with the, uh, the best size and, and the shape that I needed. All right, after I uh, finished soldering them, I uh, wanted to try to figure out how much resin it was going to take to uh, fill up this mold so I could have an idea uh, when preparing to, uh, to cast this. So I just uh, used some water, poured it into, the, uh, into this, and um, came up with four cups. I know the coils are going to take up a little bit, but I'd rather have a little bit extra resin than not enough when I'm, when I'm setting this thing up. All right, what I decided to do next was to cast a, a dummy stator just so I could uh, practice the techniques of mixing it up, making sure I had the right amount of hardener and, uh, and the talcum mix. So I, uh, I set this up, got a nice level surface to, uh, to pour the resin on. I used some small wooden discs to uh, simulate the coils, and uh, I have all my, uh, all my materials here laid out and ready to, uh, to pour. Because the uh, wooden discs are going to take up more volume of this uh, stator, I only uh, ended up mixing up three cups. When I do the coils, I'll use the uh, full four cups, I'm sure. All right, as you watch this, um, I've cut down considerably the time it took me to, uh, to mix this up. So it, it, I, I took a lot longer to make sure that the uh, catalyst and the resin was mixed together. And then after it was mixed together very well, I mixed in the, the talcum. And then I mixed that in very well. But I, I've cut the videos down here so that uh, not to, to bore you too much. All right, after I got a couple of cups here into, uh, into the mold, I went around and lifted up these uh, discs to make sure that the resin filled up underneath and uh, was able to coat the mat underneath and, and also um, coat all the discs as much as possible.
All right, once I got the last uh, cup in, I, I put the uh, top mat in and get that nice and uh, saturated. And then I end, up, I end up setting this to the side and putting another board on top of it and, uh, with a weight on it to, uh, to let it cure. So now that it's cured, it's time to uh, take it apart. The uh, snow seal worked great to uh, keep the uh, resin from sticking to the mold. Uh, I was able to uh, pull everything apart fairly easily. And then afterwards, I wanted to uh, see how hard this stuff actually gets. This is only after five hours, and I have my son here help me uh, to uh, test how hard it is. All right, now it's time to cast the, uh, the, real, the real coils. And you can see here how I um, have everything set up. Again, this was a star configuration. And these are the terminals that I'll connect to uh, afterwards. You can see the wood I have in the middle. I drilled holes. It's actually up off the bottom, a little more than an eighth of an inch. And, um, and that's going to allow the, flu the, uh, the resin to uh, flow underneath it. Um, it's also attached from the bottom. I used uh, two screws from underneath that run up into that so this whole assembly won't move uh, it's going to be exactly where i need it to be and it's going to stay in that exact position uh, i ended up using about three and a half um, cups of the resin and i mix it up just like i did in the previous uh, portion of this video um, with my test my test stator um, i lift up the coils just a little bit here again to get that bottom mat uh, saturated and then uh, after I get the last little bit here, this is about three and a half uh, cups. Shake it a little bit, and then I put the um, the top mat on. And I had already made little holes in the mat so that it would fit on there nice and easy. Then what I did on this this one was I had taken a top board and drilled three holes in it, and so that it would fit over the. Um, the, the terminals and then I screw this down you'll see how uh, everything squirts out fills in underneath nice and uh, now it's after I get this all uh, tightened up it's time to let it cure all right after about uh, two hours I uh, go ahead and remove the mold around the uh, stator um, get it all cleaned up and um, take the screws out and everything comes about uh, comes apart fairly easily to take the screws off the back that were holding that uh, that center wood piece and pops right off then uh, what I did was I cleaned it up a little sand paint uh, a little sanding here and then uh, went back and little imperfections I uh, mixed up a little more resin and just uh, filled it in and then after this hardens I'm going to uh, sand it down and uh, next I'm going to work on the uh, rotors I have to uh, to get the magnets in and uh, so I'm waiting on that but uh, that'll probably be the next uh, video I post Thanks for watching.